Don't stop. A family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Welcome to BGSUFalcons.com. I'm Jason Knavel here with head track and field coach Lou Snelling. Uh, 2015-16 preview for the track and field season. And uh, so, Coach, you know, you lost Brooke Plager mm -hmm. from a year ago after graduation, uh, a kid who was an All-American and went to national tournaments and all that sort of thing. But you guys have a lot of kids coming back this year, and it looks like you've got potential to take this program even to the next step this year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you lose an All-American, and, and, and obviously that hurts a little bit, a three-time All-American. But um, – in terms of point totals, we, we have most uh, of the team coming back from last year, uh, which is exciting. You know, we added in a few new pieces there, a few new athletes. Uh, so, you know, I think we're primed to have our best uh, year uh, probably since the late 90s. Yeah, it's it, it definitely looks like uh, you've got a, a great mix of veterans mm -hmm. coming back, and uh, let's let's kind of dig down into the details a little bit. You obviously oversee the distance uh, side, and we'll we'll start with the mid distance kids you've you've got and what we're looking at um, out of the mid distance this year, especially l looking focusing on indoor track and field at this point. Yeah, you know, it'd be a couple new names there uh, that we haven't seen or we didn't see last year. So uh, we have redshirt freshman. Uh, coming back and uh, Cassie Boyle um, so she's kind of under the radar and uh, but I think she's gonna surprise some people especially as we go down the road uh, Rachel Durbin's been a little banged up uh, but hopefully we can kind of move forward and get some get some fitness and uh, she should be in a good place when she was four. Uh, 55 is a true freshman you know in the mile indoors so um, and just one place off of scoring so if we can get her back to that kind of fitness you know she can have a big impact Sure, and, and mid-distance is an area where uh, over the last few years you struggled maybe to, to pick up some points or even put some kids into the MAC championships. Um, but as we look at the distance, the longer uh, distance, uh, we saw the cross-country program finish second at the MAC this year, and I have to assume that that translates over to some degree into the indoor track season with a lot of veterans back, and as well, uh, you know, we saw the name Rachel Walney all year in cross-country. Yeah, I mean, it should. It should. We have the fitness to, to do that. So, uh, yes. Well, so give us uh, a couple of names that maybe we uh, we can look at uh, for distance that uh, can can make a, make an impact and score some points at the MAC championships. Yeah, I mean, so you have the kind of the returning group, you know, and, and um, uh, Andrea Alt, Jasmine Redmond, Becca Ray, uh, Mackenzie McMillan are, are kind of spearheading that group. Um, and, you know, they've all had success at, at different points. You know, uh, Kenzie was uh, all Mac uh, in cross, you know, this fall. She scored in 10K. Um, uh, outdoors, uh, Becca Ray, you know, uh, all Mac in uh, cross country the year before. Uh, Andrea Alton's had a consistent presence in the steeplechase. Uh, you know, Jasmine Rudgman scored in the 5K uh, indoors previously. So, um, so they all have done it at different times and different points. Uh, so th they'll be kind of uh, uh, on the front end of, of our returners. We have some new faces we haven't seen on the track in a Bowling Green uniform before. Uh, so you, you mentioned Rachel Walney, uh, who redshirted last, uh, last spring, uh, had a pretty big impact uh, for us in terms of all conference, uh, all region, uh, freshman athlete of the year for the MAC in cross country. Uh, Elena Lancioni also redshirted. Um, last spring, um, and, and I, I think she'll be in the mix as well. We're here with James Gilden. James, uh, jumps coach, sprints coach, hurdles coach, you do, do it just about all of it. So yeah. um, we're, uh, we're excited to talk about the upcoming indoor track and field season, and, and let's uh, start talking about the jumps. you got a lot of kids coming back all the way across all your units. Right, right. And uh, in the jumps especially, we're looking at long jump, triple jump, high jump. Um, talk about how, how comfortable you are with that unit. Sure. Um, well, first of all, I have three out of those events. I have kids that scored uh, coming back in all three. So uh, Alicia Arnold uh, is our big dog in the long jump, uh, T.R. Parker uh, in the triple jump, uh, Kyla Pastor as well, and in the high jump, Raven Porter. Uh, and all these young ladies are coming back, so hopefully we can see some, some development. Absolutely. A anybody uh, incoming that maybe we haven't seen before in a, in a – 
orange and brown uniform that we think uh, could make an impact as well? Sure. Uh, there's two, actually. Uh, there's one, Africa Strohs. Uh, she redshirted last year, so she'll be just a redshirt freshman. And then true freshman, Jay Nolan, uh, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, will be in the uniform this year. Perfect. A lot of depth out of the jumps then as well. So yeah. uh, pentathlon, obviously, Kristen Reiser scored mm -hmm. um, in indoor track season in the pentathlon, and, and she graduated. You do have Sydney Matthew back as well. What kind of uh, development do you expect to see out of her? Well, a lot. We're, we're excited about her. Um, we looked at last year as kind of more of a developmental year four, just getting through the pin and then the HEP. She didn't have a ton of experience in high school uh, with those things. So with a year under her belt and training with Kristen, I've seen a lot of good things this fall. So we're, I'm really excited about her. Fantastic. And then uh, we start to look at the sprints then, the, the short sprints. you got 60, the 200, and, and the 400 um, as well. And you got a lot of kids back there as well. <laughs> it just it, That's a, a common theme coming through. Right. Um, talk about that those groups. Well, I feel really good about indoors. Indoors was the first time that we put a kid in the final of every sprint uh, event that, that we were in. Well, that they had, uh, 60, 60 hurdles, two and a four, and then some multiple. Uh, and all those kids are back. So, uh, again, we feel really good about the development that's taking place, and we're really looking forward to put, make a splash in the MAC this year in those events. Sure, and some of those kids, Alicia Arnold, you mentioned before, Darisha Green, Absolutely. you've got uh, Cortisha Short, Taylor Rambo, a, a lot of kids there. Absolutely, absolutely. And so there's a few, too. I have uh, approximately three or four freshmen that will be in the uniforms, too, uh, via relays um, and some of the short events, too. So uh, we're really excited. We're deep. We're probably the deepest we've ever been. Um, and then having those kids come back just with that veteran slash youth, uh, it makes for a really good pot to stir. So, Absolutely. And then as we look at the relays as well, when you got all those kids back with the sprints, that means you got all those kids back with the relays typically as well. For so sure. talk about your your comfort level with the relays. No doubt. So in the 4 by well, 4 by 4 indoors, uh, we were, we're returning three out of the four. Um, and so, like I said before, uh, we got some freshmen coming in that, that may fill those. And, and who knows, maybe uh, someone that's already here may step up in that role, too. Uh, it's a little early to, to really dictate that, but we feel good about the inventory of kids that we have to choose from uh, for those relays. Perfect. Sounds like things are uh, going well. We're uh, excited to see the season get underway here. Thanks a lot for the time, James. Thanks, Jason. I'm here with Matt Conley, uh, throws coach. In uh, indoor, we've got two uh, throw events basically and uh, everybody knows about Brooke Plager and has heard about her and especially with her outdoor season but really um, she's the only uh, competitor in the throws from indoor season who qualified for MAC championships that you guys will lose so you have a pretty good uh, core coming back uh, for this year and uh, we'll start with a shot put and just talk about uh, Mackenzie Wheat, Aaliyah Gustafson. Yeah I, uh so far, we've had a really fantastic fall for both of them, so I'm kind of happy we're ahead of where we were a year ago, um, which is kind of always the goal um, heading into indoor season is kind of if, we're, if you're ahead of where you were the year before, you're in, in great shape. So uh, obviously with, with Mac, I think she was, um, what did she finish last year? Fifth, I think. Six. Six, mm -hmm. so six indoor. I think she was fifth outdoor. So um, she's a kid that scored both years here for us so far, so – um, I, the big thing for her is kind of taking that next step forward um, and kind of moving hopefully into the top three. Um, so that's kind of the big goal. And the shot put in our conference is kind of changing a little bit. We've There's some kids that have, are graduating. And so for her, like the, the opportunity to kind of step forward and, and move into like the top two or three kids in the conference um, is kind of right in front of her at this point now. So. Um, and then Aaliyah. Aaliyah is coming back from, from an injury. Um, so she had ACL injury and, and surgery last year, um, which was unfortunate for us. I think, and really, you know, especially for her, because she had just had a fantastic meet the weekend prior to, to the injury. And so I think the two of them together were really going to kind of take off last year. Um, and so getting her back in the picture, I think, is obviously big for our program, but and also for both of them. Um, they train really well together. Um, they kind of push each other a lot. So, so getting her back, and, and we just had uh, a little kind of inner squad, little mock meet this past week, and, and they both threw really well. So, um, so I think they're, I'd look for them both to be in the mix to, to score points for us. So. Sure, fantastic. And then as we look at weight throw, um, that's where you lost Brooke from last year who finished fourth at the MAC championships. But you do have uh, Kayla Velasquez, Corey Reiser there. Correct. Uh, I think Kayla was eighth last year and scored. So got one point for us. 
Um, and, and Corey was, they were both in the top nine in the conference um, on the list. So same thing, there's some kids kind of moving out of the picture at other programs. So for them, it's kind of the opportunity to, to start to move up and, and score some more points. The weight is, I would say for me, is not, uh, it's something that I haven't, it hasn't went as well as I would like it to have went. So, um, so that's kind of a, for me, we, we started to work on it a little bit sooner in the year than we have in the past. So for me, that's kind of become a, maybe a little bit of something that I'm emphasizing on a little bit more this year, trying to, to, to take, again, kind of take a step forward with, with the weight throw for both of those two. So, and I think in Aaliyah as well, um, you know, last year she was, she didn't throw the weight as a freshman. We, we started to play around with it last year, only got to work on it for about a month, and then we had an injury. So um, just kind of seeing where that may be able to go for her as well. Sounds like uh, a lot of depth uh, in those positions where you've got an opportunity to score, uh, score points for multiple kids in both of those events sure. as well. Absolutely. And that's kind of the, the big goal for us as a group is to – um, you know, like you said, we kind of, we lost Brooke and, and, um, you know, I think indoor and outdoor, I mean, we can really kind of recruit those points and maybe even score more in an event like the weight, um, potentially by kind of the, the two of them moving up together. So, um, so that's kind of the goal for us as, as a program is maybe, maybe a little bit more, um, scoring points with, with more depth than we have, um, in the past so far. So. Fantastic. Thanks, Matt, for yep. taking the Thank time, you. and uh, we're looking forward to the season. Thanks.